So this is an EV charging adapter for the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Now, will this work with other power stations down the road? Possibly, but today it only works with the EcoFlow Delta Pro. And we're going to be using this. We are going to be charging the Delta Pro at a charging station for a little while just to show you how it works and what type of uh, input wattage we get. We're also going to be using this at a Tesla charging station. All right. So, you know, we're looking forward to that because I know a couple of people have had questions about how do I use this at a Tesla charging station to charge my EcoFlow Delta Pro. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. So we are at an EV charging station and these are called Blinks. Blink is a system that's out there that uses the J1772, which is compatible with the EV adapter by EcoFlow. Now we've got this 100 pound beast here in the back seat. We're going to go ahead and uh, do some EV charging. Now, the EcoFlow adapter will actually connect to this J. Uh, 1772 all right so and it looks like it just locks on top so it's got a nice tight lock and then taking it off shouldn't be too hard so that's in so all we're gonna do is connect it I'm gonna make sure that this clip snaps into place and it did, so it's holding on tight. All right, guys, so we are connected and we are charging the Delta Pro. As you could see here, you know, just, you know, be careful, make sure I routed the wire a little bit behind the unit just so nothing was being stressed because you don't want to break the port. Again, they make stuff well, but you never know. And we are getting 1,799 watts of input and if you see the little symbol up there that means that you're, you're charging uh, with an EV so 1800 watts now look at that another way to charge the Delta Pro with an EV adapter that's something so let's take a few minutes and just talk about J1772. So the adapter, when you get the uh, EcoFlow e uh, EV adapter, you know, that is the adapter, the J1772. And you're going to find a ton of places are going to have this type of connection. So you, don't worry about it. Now, when you do search for EV charging, you know, it'll show J1772. And I'll put an arrow there so you could see what that looks like on the right hand corner. Um, you want to focus on how many chargers are on site. You don't want to go to a place that has one charger because you can get there and someone can have their vehicle plugged in for a couple of hours and it's going to be a waste of time. So try to make sure that you go to one that has a few, uh, you know, chargers. Look on the bottom right hand corner where I have two of two highlighted as an example. Okay. The other thing you don't want to worry about is the KW, which is the kilowatts. Don't worry about that. The Delta Pro is limited to 3.4 kilowatts. A lot of these stations are, you know, have much higher numbers than that. So don't stress on that. But just wanted to share some of this information with you. Okay, guys. So this is what a Tesla destination charger looks like. Very different from a supercharger. 
And as you can see, we are charging the EcoFlow Delta Pro. And I'm about to go ahead and show you the adapter we used and how easy it is to have another way to charge your Delta Pro. Now all we need to do is take the special Tesla Tap adapter, specifically this model, and we're going to, obviously that side goes into the EcoFlow adapter, and this side goes into the Tesla. So let's go ahead and just connect this. So here's the EcoFlow adapter. All we do is just kind of make sure these lock in place. Now that that's in all the way, we're going to take the Tesla plug. Let me pull it out so you can see how it connects. So, as you can see, both adapters look the same. So all we do is it slides right in. Let me bring it around and plug it in. And now we just take it and put it in on the side. And just make sure you're careful. You know, this stuff's made to last. You want that to click in. And now we're going to watch our wattage and see what type of wattage we get. And the adapter is connected, as you can see. And we're already above 700 watts. Now, I don't know what the max is based off this uh, Tesla destination charger. Some of them are 8 kilowatts. Some of them are 16 kilowatt. I'm not sure if they have other types. But, yep, it is working. And that adapter made it possible. And we'll put the link in the description. We had a friend of ours pick one of those up. And we borrowed it. And uh, we're glad, because that thing works. And what we did in our case was we put it in our car. And we wrapped the cable around the unit. So it wouldn't strain the port. We don't want to put any strain on the port, the infinity port. Alright, but... We're at 799, 800. So it kind of looks like maybe this is the max uh, on this specific Tesla destination charger. Again, do not use these at all at supercharging stations unless something changes in the future. But we're getting 800 watts and check this out. Look at that, lighting up, showing that we are charging. And there you go. Although this is an amazing product, putting it in your vehicle and taking it out is a bundle of fun at 100 pounds. So just beware. Hey guys, if you're really enjoying this video, take a moment, give us a thumbs up. Brooklyn and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, if you're thinking of going to a Tesla station to charge your EcoFlow Delta Pro, uh, keep in mind you do not want to go near a supercharger. To the left side is what a supercharger looks like, and to the right is what a destination charger looks like. And the destination charger is definitely slower, um, but with the adapter I'm about to show you that you can buy if you want to, it's really up to you, um, you can then use destination chargers. From what I've been told, Tesla destination chargers are just not as efficient and that you should probably use, you know, the J1772 adapter and, you know, use other charging stations. And this is all early still um, because it is March 2022, but I wanted to share what I know as of today. Okay, so when searching for destination chargers, if you're going to, just be aware that many of them might be at hotels or places that require you to purchase a service. All right, so you can't just roll up. Um, you know, they can be found in casinos and schools and hospitals. You know, in some of them, you can just drive up and use them. 
Again, don't use a Tesla supercharger. They are not compatible. Now, when we look at this image on the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see the kilowatts. You'll also see the amount of chargers. On the bottom right-hand corner, you see total four. And then on the left side, if you notice before, it said J1772. This one says Tesla. So just some good information. All right, so here's the adapter we used alongside our EcoFlow EV adapter. So, you know, in order to charge at a Tesla destination charger, you know, we use this adapter. Um, it is made by a company called Tesla Tap. Now, we're going to put a link in the description, and if you use our link, you help our channel. The model is the Mini 60 Amp Tesla to J1772 adapter. The cost is around $300. It is subject to change, so just be aware. Again, the use, very simple. You connect this adapter with the EcoFlow EV adapter, and you know you connect it to your Delta Pro, and then you can charge at a Tesla destination charger. Um, be aware, it isn't as efficient from what I am understanding with the research that I'm doing. You know, if you noticed, we got 800 watts, and uh, you know, on another station, you know, J1772 straight, we got 1800 watts. So I can't explain that, but I wanted to make you aware. And I was told that, you know, these aren't as efficient as far as Tesla charging stations, not the adapter, but the Tesla charging stations just aren't as efficient. They're really good when you have a Tesla. Also, I want to make you aware that EcoFlow did not advertise this or recommend this in any way. I'm just showing you this because I wanted to make you aware there are options out there, you know? So I hope this is helpful. Here are some specifications. You can hit pause if you want to go through this, all right? But you'll be able to see warranty information. I left a diagram on the right-hand corner that's helpful, the model number. So take a look at this. I hope you subscribe. I really hope you give us a thumbs up and share our video. It really helps the channel, all right? But again, hit pause if you want to look at this for a little bit. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.